not too sure what we've done and what we haven't done. Because a lot of my sense of direction in these tunnels is is perverted. So, was this an offshoot tunnel? I think it was. The problem here is, I know there's a locked door, I just don't know how to get to the, the path that leads to it. So I'm going to have to go this way and hope it, it hooks up. I don't know why it would, but... My only criticism so far is the bigger these things get, the more confusing they're going to be because they're using very similar assets. Very similar rooms in a lot of cases too. That is a big room. So that is the boss room. The lamp is really close again, which I think is really good design. Very glad they've done that. It's a shame they don't do it more often in the game, but I'll let them off because, you know, a lot of people seem to think that that's what makes a Souls-esque game. The, the dirty runbacks all the time. You can parry that move, I just don't want to. There'll come a time when my reflexes are tuned in such a way where uh, I will parry on reflex. I'll know the moves, I'll wait for it, and I'll boom, I'll punish. But right now, I'm not there. Well, this looks promising. If you're wondering what I'm doing, by the way, I, I am kind of procrastinating to not fight that stupid spider boss because he's going to kill me in one hit. And I've never seen anybody fight that boss and win without being hit. Which means I'm in for a really rough time when we do fight it. So I'm hoping to get a couple levels and maybe some uh, resources to make me a little bit stronger. Another sage's wrist. This is that door. That is put my mind at ease big time. I'm happy about that. Because now I can explore uh, without worrying that I'm missing something. Although I'm probably missing something. But I'm not going to worry. That just looks like maybe it, it leads to a chest or something. Maybe there's not actually anything up here. No, there's something up here. Shit. Which is... Cleaver men. I want to use you to get me some life back if I can. Do you mind partaking in the slaughter? Yes, you would. So somebody was mentioning on my first video that they think the visceral attack was repetitive, and uh, I would love to see a different animation or the ability to get a different animation, and I think we've seen all of them. Like, the only difference I can think might be a thing. Probably be as a beast if you can still shoot your gun, which I don't think you'll be able to. But I hope there's different ones. Maybe this. Fuck that hurt, dude. So instead of messing with those, we're going to kill the source. Shot him then. I had an ocean of time to do that in. Is that the boss lever? I think it is. I do believe it is. Alright, Charlie. Oh, you've got a gun. was a good duel, my friend. But unfortunately, thou art fat. And I am not. I am very skinny, and alas, I win. Is that some way over there? No. 
But during my dinner breaks, I say dinner break like it's a break, I just eat my dinner and then I come back and play. <laughs> I've been watching American Dad, and I, I never get to finish an episode, but I'm watching episodes I've seen before numerous times, and they're still making me laugh, which I think is a sign of a, a really great show. Currently watching season 9 back again, one of the more recent ones. I just, I love that program so much. There's so much visual humour in it that you miss. Sometimes when you, you know, you're too busy laughing at something else or you weren't paying full attention and then you watch it again and it catches you out and that's pretty much what's been happening these last few times I've popped it on. It's just a great show. Is this where we fell down? This might be... Oh no, no, this is a different room. Well, it's, I say it's a different room. It's the same style of room, but it is different because, of course, I think this is procedurally generated. I could be wrong, though, guys. Okay. Okay. Wow, that is cheesy. Stuns me so that guy can bump me. I want to know who does that and why that happens. It's a very strange aspect of these demons. Just crazy magic show happens and boom, enemies spawn in. Hello. That was a bad parry. So where was the boss room? I think it was across here. It was. What's it gonna be? I'm rather excited. Get me some more insight too. Or maybe not. Maybe not indeed. Is there no boss? Does it just keep on going or is this the boss? This looks important. Come on, Asylum Demon. Please. That is not an Asylum Demon. The fuck is that? Sumerian Descendant. Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! The dude's got a shuttle that he can chuck at you. And he looks beast! And I'm dead? That guy looks great. He looks... Like Dracula. Dracul. Cheesy scythe, like sickle throwing children of the corn, motherfucker. That was great. The runbacks a little long, but in the grand scheme of runbacks, these chalice ones are much better. I can't believe that. Dude's got mad fast attacks. They do big damage. And he's got multiples of them. This is going to be fun in a brutal kind of way. Well, there goes all my souls. Shit, this dude is fast, man. Fast and damaging. I really don't think that dodge helps you sometimes. Like, unless you know the attack, so you know your rhythm to get through it. You're just dodging into it all the time, I find. I think the hardest part about this game is going to learn to use the lock-on dash. Because I think it's really powerful, I just think it's hard to use. But it's going to set the good players aside, I can guarantee you that, folks. In a couple of months, you're going to see people being really aggressive with it and really devastating. Like, where? why wasn't that where the bloodstain was last time, motherfucker? 40,000 souls, because this bitch is fast. And I don't know what he does, so I can't... Even... Mother, I pressed it then, you heard it. Not that it matters. Because this dude's just gonna fuck me up. Yeah. We're gonna try and parry him though. It's gonna invoke death. Shit's so fast, dude. <laughs> My tritons are held together with tape, so every so often one of the ears just kind of falls off. 
It's annoying, but I'll just go and tape it again. And luckily enough, I've not had a problem for a few days now. But I need duct tape. And when I went, um, I asked my mum to get some from Tesco for me. Gave her some money. She didn't come back with it. Really annoying. So I'm going to have to go get that myself, it seems. This is annoying as fuck, dude. I'm pressing evade as best I can, but I'm doing it just as he's hitting me apparently because he's really fast and I'm eating full combos. It sucks because he moves so quickly and he covers so much distance. It's really tough to, to recover. And that throw move can suck a fucking dick. Shoot the guy! Fuck! I think this guy's gonna transform, you know? Let's see if we can stun lock him. See if we can at least put some hits on him, because trying to shoot him, the time it takes you to shoot, you've just been killed, it seems, at the moment. Because the delay on the pressing the button to him shooting is not as big as it was in Dark Souls 2, but it's it's enough to to mean that you try to parry and you don't get it. Don't throw the thing, dickhead. I got an iframe, man. You see that? I missed. I'm gonna heal because I want to actually fight. He's gonna throw it. Notice how he didn't do his full combo when he wasn't in range? What a bitch. Why does he never do that? Motherfucker's got a slow ass move that he does when I'm dead. Stop teasing me. That running cycle hit, really difficult to dodge. It's like the third time I swear I've dodged and I've still been hit. Maybe I'm doing the wrong direction, I don't know. Maybe I'm too slow, I don't know. Could be anything, I guess. Again! The good news is if you get hit by it, you can probably immediately shoot and miss and die. That is a great strategy. I'm so glad that worked. I think gun-wise, the blunderbuss is probably the best. I don't think it's going to have the tendency of missing as this pistol does, but I prefer this pistol because I don't like the blunderbuss. And I actually like blunderbusses as well, I just don't like its utility in this game. However, that would have worked if the lock-on wasn't a piece of shit in that particular instant. Because I had enough time to shoot him and it would have been a critical if you can crit this guy. I don't think he's fast enough. I think he needs to be a bit faster, actually. But this is the difference between a Bloodborne boss and a Dark Souls boss. The Flaming Katana was a Dark Souls boss. It did attacks, it waited its turn, it dodged around, it had a different kind of moveset. I killed it pretty comfortably. This thing doesn't wait its turn, attacks constantly, is stupid fast, stupid range, always up your ass, massive evade range, and it kills you in two hits. So... That is the difference right now between Bloodborne and Souls. And he didn't do the third hit, irony.
I wonder who the uh, enemy AI programmer is, or who those people are. Because they... That looks maybe as good as it's going to be, and I don't think it worked. That was a slow one, shit. No, I got it, but I didn't get the repost. He can be... He can be done. I'm just not doing a very... Bollock! Single ear. Single ear? No! Look at the pattern, guys. Just look at the pattern there. That was such a different pattern to every other fight we've had. He was giving me space, and he was not mauling me. And I just played terrible. But we learnt a few things. Thank god the loading times in these chalices are much better than the main game. Or I probably would leave this to a later point, because this guy kills me so fast. I wonder how many hits your shield can take before it breaks. Or before they like knock it away, or however it works. I really like this enemy too, I just hate him at the same time. It's just a strange relationship. Fuck! How did I miss that? That's a slow one. Dash, dickhead. Come on, please do good damage, please, please. Oh, son! Don't chuck your thing. He split them! What a beast, don't throw them both, dickhead. Of course he's throwing them both. Dash! Yeah, that's tricky, dude. But we can kill this because it's it's got lowish life and we do big damage. We just need some good parries. Like, I think if I'd have hit that first one, we might have won then. I just do not like it when you get that AI pattern where it's just, all right, you're dead, and he just rushes in and it's just sweep, 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 because that one's really hard. I'm gonna have 90 eyeballs. I'm so happy. I think. I think you get free from eating bosses. Didn't do the third hit. Didn't do the third hit again. Neither did. That time he did. Fuck you, dude. It's so stupid, man. It's so hard to understand when it's different every time. Like, I love the complexity of some of the AI that's happening here, but I hate that. Multiple hit combos that change on whim. It's just a wind up. I'm not angry if anybody's wondering. I'm just. It, it frustrates. That's a good one. And I fucked it up. That's a good one too. And I fucked it up as well. The window on this parry is much shorter. My headphones are fucking me, dude. Don't buff. Dickhead. He's buffing. Really? That wasn't a parry? Are you fucking drunk? Wow. Well, just, in thought, just when you thought you didn't have too many hits, <laughs> there's a 19 hit combo in a game that kills you in two. <laughs> I should have won that. Once again, the parry detection. Really fucking sh weird on this dude. Dude. But the transformation is a good opportunity to belt him. I just hate how the secondary function of the whip doesn't repost. It's stupid. Could have a long range repost, that'd be beast. So 
Play nice, dickhead. Play nice. Please play nice. Dash. Didn't do the third hit. Wasn't a parry anyway. Didn't do the second hit. Slow one. Dash. Not gonna get it because it was a stupid trade. Because apparently this guy's got nine fucking years worth of reach. Yeah, well. So 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 fucking annoying. Might try him with my baton. I have a rather large phallic instrument here, and I'm going to introduce it to your colonic system. Yes. Introduce you to the concept of electrotherapy in the holio. Didn't do the third hit. Didn't need to. That dash, dude. My parry is a, a piece of shit right now. Doesn't matter if you trade though, guys, does it? Can't believe people are saying that in comments already. Doesn't matter if you trade. It really does. <laughs> it's one of those life or death matters. Like, you can't go around saying it doesn't matter if you trade on a parry just because of the regain system when you've got 40 vitality. Because it doesn't matter if you block with your face when you've got 40 vitality. You know, it's, it's one of those arguments that doesn't work. It's a null point. It's nice that you can trade and still get a parry. But it's not optimum. A bit like this fight. Isn't it? See what I mean? When you're close enough, he goes full combo. When you're not, he doesn't. Now, I'm alive! Shit, I thought I was dead. He's dead now, though. Shit. I thought I was dead, guys. I thought that was it. I didn't think... I just stood there and waited for, for the inevitable loading screen. Lower Fumeru Chalice. Well, we lost all our souls. But we killed him, and it's a boss that once you get good at it, you're going to be able to probably kill that dude in three attacks. But there is another chalice dungeon. I wonder if he's in the game somewhere. That'll be crazy, because that guy is fast. Really fast. <laughs>